Nearly a year after a boat full of teenagers crashed in Biscayne Bay, prosecutors claim the boat's owner carelessly steered the boat into danger. One teen died, another is permanently disabled. Tonight, the only charges pending are misdemeanors. CBS News Miami's Larry Seward is in South Miami Dade with more on those charges. Florida Fish and Wildlife officers investigated with state attorneys, finding no evidence that drugs or alcohol had a role in that deadly crash. Authorities say they charged the operator with the only charge allowed. In the wake of this report laying out charges against George Pino, a 53-year-old accused of careless operation of a boat loaded with teenagers that crashed into a marker in Biscayne Bay last Labor Day and killed 17-year-old Lucy Fernandez and permanently disabled Kati Puig, the charges stand out. Two misdemeanors. According to Miami-Dade State Attorney, an extensive marine investigation between attorneys and Florida Fish and Wildlife officers found the operator was not impaired. And if circumstances involved happened on any Florida road, prosecutors' only option would be a non-criminal traffic citation. In findings released Friday afternoon, investigators photographed damage in and outside the 29-foot Rabalo. The 14 people on board included Pino, his wife, their daughter, and her friends celebrating a birthday. The boat left Key Largo's Ocean Reef Club past eight markers in the the water then crashed into one at 45 miles an hour less than 20 minutes into the ride. While authorities found speed played a role, they say drugs and alcohol did not. In a statement, Pino's lawyer told CBS News Miami, the FWC and state attorney's office confirmed this was not an alcohol-related accident. Multiple witnesses observed that another boat created an extra large wake causing the loss of control. George and Cecilia Pino are devastated by the passing of Lucy and the serious injuries to Kati and others. Puig's family attorneys did not respond to calls and messages, but earlier this year they filed this lawsuit against the Pinos and others to hold them financially accountable. In South Miami Day, Larry Seward, CBS News, Miami.